Hi, and welcome to this Pro Tools Tips video. Today we're going to be looking at MIDI keyboards and how we can use them within Pro Tools. So the first thing you want to do is you want to plug in your keyboard and download the drivers for it. So if I go over to Safari here, I've plugged my keyboard in and I've gone on the M Audio website because my keyboard is an M Audio key station and I found it here and I put in my operating system and it's found the software here. So once I install this, my computer should recognize the keyboard correctly. So if you're on a Mac, you can check this by going to the Audio MIDI setup. And the way we do this is we open up Finder and we go into the Applications folder and we want to run down to Utilities. And in here, you'll find Audio MIDI setup. So when we open that and go Window and make sure we've got the MIDI window open here, we can see all the MIDI devices and we can see that my M Audio key station 61 is connected to my computer and my computer is reading it properly. So that's good. So let's close that down and come back to Pro Tools. And we're going to want to record with our keyboard as a virtual instrument track. So we're going to create a new track, track, new, stereo, instrument track, create. So let's put a virtual piano track on here. So we're going to go Plugins, Instrument, and Mini Grand, which is a grand piano that comes with Pro Tools. So here it is now, and if I click with my mouse, we can hear notes, so we know the audio is coming out properly. Now if I hit Record, now this should recognise my keyboard. But as you can hear, when I'm hitting notes, nothing's coming through. This is because Pro Tools doesn't yet know what MIDI keyboard to listen to, so it's not set up to listen to this one. So we'll close that down and we'll change it so Pro Tools does. So we want to go to Setup, MIDI, and MIDI Input Devices. And because we've installed the software, the USB key station is available. So let's activate it, let's click on it, OK. And let's record enable this track again and see if we've got any piano. Brilliant. So we can hear that Pro Tools is looking for the MIDI input from the keyboard and it's triggering notes properly. Now what we can do is we can take this to the next level and we can set it up so that the keyboard can control plugins within Pro Tools as well. So you come up here to MIDI controls and you go type and it says M Audio keyboard, that's what's plugged in. Receive from the keyboard, send to the keyboard. So we can send and receive data from the keyboard. Now this is really useful because if we open up the plugin, you can hear that we've still got sound coming out, but I can also control these knobs on the fly from my keyboard because my keyboard has a number of sliders and modulation wheels. So the way we do that is I just click on any of these ones I want to control. So let's control the mix, so the mix of reverb wet to dry, and you right click on it and it comes up with Learn MIDI CC. So this tells Pro Tools to listen for MIDI input, such as you moving a slider on your keyboard, and it will say, okay, I'm gonna assign the slider that was moved to this control here. So let's click that, and I'll move the knob, and there we go. So we can see as I'm playing, I can use my other hand to control the amount of reverb which is really useful because it means if I'm playing, I don't have to stop playing, I can just control it on the fly as I'm recording. Okay, so let's record a bit. Make sure the track's record enabled and hit record and play. Hit stop and let's listen back. Great, okay. So what we've done is we've set up our MIDI keyboard with Pro Tools. We've installed the drivers and checked the audio MIDI to make sure it's coming in. We've made a new track and we've recorded a piano sound and we've also looked how to map any control on the plugin to your MIDI keyboard. So next time I'm gonna be looking at EQ and how we can use it across audio tracks within Pro Tools. Thanks for watching, hope it was useful and I'll see you next time.